Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of She Never Died. Well, uh, as you can see behind me, uh, she looks quite alive, but uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, as usual, cast and crew information is down below, and uh, I'll start by reading the IMDb plot, and then uh, we'll get to talk about this, this movie here. Uh, when a girl goes, goes missing, a woman with a mysterious past tracks down the people responsible. Uh, that's a little bit simple, uh, so I guess I have some things to talk about here. Uh, let's start with, I didn't really know much about this film. Uh, this is another one that I, I think I saw the title mentioned probably on Twitter somewhere and uh, kind of caught my eye and then I, I searched for uh, where I can find find it to watch and, and I happened to find it so um, I turned it on and gave it a try you know pretty much blindfolded going into this and um, I'm gonna say you know off the start you know I, I really enjoyed it um, I, I before I did this did, did this um, review I, I did a little bit digging and uh, I still have some digging to do because I'm a little bit more interested in, in what, what's happening here and uh, I'll talk about that in a second but uh, I guess there, there's a, another movie he never died and I guess that was released in uh, 2015 so I completely missed that um, I wasn't very clear whether this is a, a sequel to it or just a female version to it. Um, reading, after watching this one and seeing what happens and then reading the description for that one, it seemed like uh, there are some similarities. Um, again, I, I'm, I'd have to do a, a little bit more digging to see the, the, if there is a, a direct, direct connection here or um, what the connection is. I think there is, there has to be some kind of connection. Um, maybe if anybody out there has, has seen uh, both movies or at least seen He Never Died, um, maybe you'll know more than me. But um, definitely gonna search out for that one and to see if um, I can catch that one as well. Um, anyway, let, let's, let's dig into what She Never Died is. And uh, basically you have Lacey here and uh, I really jumped into her character um, and just was was liking everything they did about her. Um, she she comes and she has uh, uh, early on in the movie. She looks like a homeless person. Um, you know, there's nothing fancy about her. She she has uh, got a homeless guy as a friend there on the streets and. Uh, Basically, she, she, you can see that she has a bullet hole through her head there. And uh, apparently that, that happened recently. And um, she goes in and, uh, you know, when you're introduced to her, she goes in and she uh, basically kills somebody and, um, you know, rips them apart and she eats certain parts of them. Um, I guess that that's the best way to, to say what she does. Um, is she, you know, does this mean she's a cannibal? No. Um, well, she is, but I mean, that's not the main thing that, that's happening here. Um, th th there's a lot of stuff happening here. Um, there is, she's, I don't, I don't know the way to explain it. She's, she's, I guess she's died. She, she's, you know, wherever she was in her, in her regular life, she, she's not there anymore. Um, so she did die, but uh, she's come back to life somehow. And um, now she can't die. And uh, there's some spirit world or, or maybe if you want to say demon involved in this or so forth. They're, they're very secretive about that in this movie. Um, it isn't really until the end that that they kind of give you a little bit more insight on that, uh, but they still leave off plenty to be untold, at least from what I gathered, um, which leads me to think you know there could be a sequel. And like I said, I don't know if this is the sequel necessarily to He Never Died. Maybe it is. Um, 
you know, so maybe there's more explanation in this movie that I, I don't know from that other movie. I don't know what was revealed in that other movie. Um, so, you know, again, you know, that's for me to, to go and find out to see if I can catch that. But, uh, yeah, there, there's some demon at work here. There's some maybe, you know, underground spirit world at, 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 at play here that's made her this way. Um, that's given her, that's brought her back and given her the ability to <clears throat> not basically get hurt. Um, you see in the movie she, she takes an ass beating. Uh, she gets, I don't remember if she got shot. I think she, yeah, she thinks she did get shot. Um, she definitely gets stabbed um, and so forth and she takes it like a champ, like nothing happened. Um, apparently she, whatever injuries she has, um, she can recover with. Um, it's funny that, that, you know, like I said, she does eat this one guy. And then uh, later she ends up in a, in a small diner. And I'm not going to give away what she orders, but I thought it was pretty funny. And, um, you know, so there's that. And um, so that's kind of a little bit about her character. But uh, I really got wrapped up in it. I, I really liked everything about her. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce the actress's name. I don't want to butcher that. But uh, she, she does a terrific job. Uh, really fulfilling everything that that character um, needs and does. Um, you know, she can be a, a little funny at times, and I'm not going to say this is a comedy, and I'm going to mention something about that in a minute. Uh, I'm not going to say this is a comedy, but there, there is something that is also a little bit funny about her. Um, more of the comedy element in this movie, if there is any, it comes from this other girl that she kind of rescues. Um... But then the, the, I guess the, the, po the point of the movie really is it's an introduction to her and then to see that, you know, she has these powers and so forth or she's been brought back. But, you know, she doesn't go around just killing anybody. Um, she, she more looks for bad people or that's, you know, kind of what she, she's set out to do. She's not just going to kill anybody to eat them and so forth. Um... You know, she's interested in, in like one mission and that's it. Um, so what happens here is she she gets introduced to a... Uh, okay, so there's this bad underground people who, you know, kind of think of it in, uh, maybe as the purge or hostel where they're, they're taking people into these rooms and, and um, shooting video of them and, and abusing them and killing them and, and you know, doing things that, that you might have seen in hostel but on a maybe a little bit lighter of a scale um, or maybe the purge where they're selling people and so forth so there's this going on so uh, one of the people she kills early in the movie is is a person that's involved in this and then uh, there happens to be a detective who's also on this on the case and he's kind of doing it on his own time um, he's not going to be with the police force much longer but he, he's really desperate to to capture these people and, and um, uh, I guess that that's you know the case that's eluded him. So in turn, he kind of stumbles on to her and what she did, and uh, as opposed to turning her in, he kind of uh, gets her to cooperate with him and and trying to get rid of these these bad people. Um, so she goes in another time and and she ends up rescuing this girl, and uh, this is where the little bit of the comedy comes in because this girl. Pff, um, you know, she, she, you know, at first is freaked out, it's like, stay away from me, but then is, um, very thankful that, 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 uh, Lacey has turned her free, and then kind of wants to hang with her, kind of wants to, uh, attach herself to her, uh, she has nowhere else really to go, um, she's, I guess, been, you know, abused by these people here, so, um, you know, she, in a very funny way, you know, she attaches herself to her, and, um, and then I don't want to give away kind of what happens towards the end, um, obviously, uh, Lacey's going to have a, a showdown with these, these bad people, ultimately, um, and you see what happens, you know, there's, there's some good fight scenes, um, again, you get to see, um, how Lacey basically never dies because she never dies um, 
and so forth. So uh, I think you know overall it's a good story. Again, you know I'm I'm really um, just you know uh, I don't know thrown into her character. Like I, I just I feel like I need to know more about it, which is you know I don't often watch a movie and then go digging around for for other stuff, but um, you know I, I just felt the need to after after watching this and uh, like I said I have more digging to do um, you know I'm surprised you know looking and there's a couple of things about IMDb here I was looking at it number one that it only got uh, five out of ten uh, I don't know what people disliked about it um, I, you know, like I said I, I'm liking it and I'll, and I'll give my final verdict here in a, in a, in a moment or two but um I liked it. I, I, I like the action in it. Um, there's definitely horror in it because you know she's killing people, getting stabbed, and nothing's happening, and and uh, eating people, and and so forth. Um, I don't think there was anything too too far extreme. Um, you know, well, there was one. Uh, there was one thing that was that was meh, towards that, um, but um, nothing horror fans can't handle or have not seen before. Um, what I find interesting is, is that also about IMDb is that uh, when I look here at, at what it describes this movie is this action, comedy, drama, fantasy, and thriller, but never really says horror, and uh, I don't see why horror wouldn't be up there before maybe some of those other ones. Um, you know, you have a person here who, who has a hole in her head, you know, at the beginning and uh, is eating people and um, can be killed that that screams a lot of horror to me along with whatever demon spirit world thing is happening here as well so uh, I, I don't you know get that you know I guess that part comes in the fantasy and the thriller maybe being it's a little bit of a detective story as well um, drama I would you know put much further down the line you know action is there there is action in it um, and like I said, you know, the other girl is more so the comedy. You know, Lacey is funny in a little bit, but it's more of how she acts and, and kind of, you know, just who she is. So um, she does give you a, a moment or two to laugh at her, but that's just her being her and uh, adapting to the, the new her. Um, so that's, you know, that's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't understand why horror is not uh, mentioned more there, but... Um, Anyway, you know, I, again, you know, these are things that, that, you know, when I start, you know, digging around, I, I see, and I don't dig around too much. Usually I just watch a movie and, and that's it. Um, so it's obviously piqued my interest. And, uh, you know, it also has a tagline. I'm looking here. Everybody has their demons. And, um, yeah, you know, like, she definitely has hers. And um, that's kind of revealed more towards the end. So... They definitely leave this off where if they wanted to do another sequel, um, they could. Um, obviously, you can tell that I'd be excited and I'd watch that. Uh, I definitely want to know more about her, see her more in action. Um, you know, obviously, the way they set her up her character, there, there's more for her to do. Um, there's more for her to accomplish um, if they want to go that route. Um, kind of her story almost sets up for what would be a, a good TV series. Um, you know, I guess, you know, you could spin it off into the detective and, uh, way and, you know, have her deal with the bad guys, um, and so forth. You know, we've seen, you know, similar stuff to that and similar routes to that. But, um, anyway, I, I'll just wrap this up. I think you get the point here that, that I really like in this movie. So I'm going to give it 3.5 pools of blood. Um, you know, I, I'm just thrown all into her character and the movie overall was good um, you know some good bad guys in there that, that you definitely want to see them get their ass kicked um, she does some plenty of ass kicking and um, you know the other girl that she saves you know brings in the comedy so you know you got a lot of different elements there and uh, again you know I, I probably rate it a, a lot just because I, I'm, I'm really like her character and, and what she brought to the table so uh, 3.5 pools of blood for that one. Um, I'll see if I can see He Never Died. And uh, if it's worth doing a review for, if I can find it, um, I'll do that as well. Um, 
and I definitely want to see if that was more involved in, in what happened here as well. So uh, with that, as always, um, look for more, more video reviews, um, subscribe to this channel, uh, you can find more reviews at horosquarereviews.blogspot.com, um, written reviews there as well, um, social media is down below, uh, and also feel free to comment on the video, comment on uh, whether you liked the movie, you didn't like the movie, you want to know more about the movie. Um, you can also hit me up on social media as well and comment there. Um, whether you agree or disagree, that, that's absolutely fine. Um, anything to talk about the movie. Um, so with that, um, she's still alive, I'm still alive, I, you know, and um, we'll see if maybe in the future she will die at some point um, in a sequel or so. But uh, until then, horror fans, I'll catch you on the next review.